Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will continue our learning on CO2 injection simulation in an aquifer using CMG software. All right, so now we are here. Previously, if you check the previous video, we populate the grid with properties, okay, under reservoir section. And then we also cover the component, okay, using wind probe. Okay, this is the wind probe. And now we will complete this rock and fluid section. Okay, so we are right here right now. So here, rock and fluid. If you click this one, we can have rock fluid options create and edit rock types, diagnostic plots, adsorption components. We will enter this one, create or edit rock types. All right, so this is the rock type table. We can have under the rock type. If you click this one, we can create new rock type, delete unused rock type, or import average rock type, okay? First, we will create new rock type. And under the new rock type, we can have rock type properties here. Under this tab, relative permeability tables, which is the main import, the most important thing right now under this window and hysteresis modeling. All right, by default, we will enter the drainage relative permeability data, okay? And here, CO2 injection in aquifer, we will have water oil, okay, water oil, and liquid gas. All right, so we will have two relative permeability data table. First one is water oil, and the next one is liquid gas table. All right, so we are currently under water oil table. And now we will uncheck this one. Previously, we checked include capillary pressure, drainage curve if using hysteresis, and include capillary pressure hysteresis imbibition curve. So we will untick this one. All right, so we just need to provide with water saturation, relative permeability for water, relative permeability for oil, and if you have any comment. All right, I've prepared my data. Basically, you can type in the data manually or you can also copy and paste from your spreadsheet. But right now, I will just type in my data. You can follow me. Okay. And then this one, 0 0.0022, 0 0.6769, and then 0 0.3778, 0 0.018, 0 0.4153. Okay. You can also copy the data from your spreadsheet and paste it here, but yeah. Anyway, I will just type in the data here. 0 0.6444, all right, and then 0 0.0123, 0 0.7, 0 0.4089, 0, 0 0.7333, 0 0.4855, and then still 0, 0 0.8222, and then 0 0.7709, 0, and then 0 0.9111, 0 0.95, and then lastly 0. Okay, you can also right click and 
insert row. Okay, I will copy this one, paste it here. And for the 11th row, it will be one, 0 0.99990. Zero. All right, so this is our water oil relative permeability table. After that, we can click enter or apply. And we will have the relative permeability plot like this one. The red line is water relative permeability versus water saturation. Whereas the blue line is the oil relative permeability versus water saturation. All right, so far so good. It's not that difficult. And the second one, we click again here, relative permeability table, liquid gas table, but be careful here, it indicates liquid saturation. All right, so if you check this table, the first column will be liquid saturation, okay? Liquid saturation, and you can change that liquid here, liquid gas relative permeability table dependency. I want to change the dependency from liquid saturation to gas saturation, okay? So when you plot, the horizontal axis will be gas saturation rather than liquid saturation, right? So let's change to gas saturation. And the first column will be gas saturation. The first column will be gas saturation. And again, we will untick this one. So we will need to provide the gas saturation, gas relative permeability, and oil relative permeability with the presence of gas, oil gas system. All right, again, I will type in my data. You can follow me if you want. 0, 1, 0 0.05, 0, 0 0.88, 0 0.0889, 0 0 okay, 0 0.1778, 0 0.01, 0 0.4705, 0 0.2, 667, 0 0.03, 0 0.2963, 0 okay, you can check real time here in the plot, 0 0.3556, 0 0.05, 0 0.1715, let me move here so you can check the change of the plot. And then the seventh row, 0 0.444, 0 0.1, right? You can see the movement, right? The change of the plot, 0 0.0878. And then the eighth row, 0 0.2, 0 0.037. 0 0.6222, 0 0.35, 0 0.011, and then 10th row, 0 0.65, 0 0.390. 0. I will insert row twice, copy this one, paste it to the 10th column, 10th row, I mean, and then the 11th row is 0 0.7111, 0 0.56, 0, and then 0 0.8, 0 0.9999, and 0. Okay. So far, so good. Again, we click apply, click OK. All right, so you can see now the indicator changes to this one, green, green chevron or green tick, green checklist, okay? And we are currently looking at this plot. It's 
gas relative permeability versus gas saturation plot, the red color, and then the oil relative permeability versus gas saturation. Under the rock type one, this is the relative permeability versus water saturation for water oil system. And the second one is the relative permeability versus gas saturation for gas liquid system. And this is the generated three phase relative permeability using stone two model. All right, so this is the, the spot of gas saturation equals to one. This is for 100% water saturation and for oil saturation 100% here. Okay, so the maximum oil relative permeability is one and also the water also. Yeah, the end point for oil, gas, liquid, water, the end points are one. Okay, so we have completed the rock fluid section and the next section is about initialization and we will set the initial conditions. Okay, so previous video, in previous video, we have discussed about reservoir section, components using wind probe, and then rock and fluid. Okay, rock and fluid interaction. And in this video, we will cover the initial condition for initialization, okay? I want to change it to 3D view. All right, and yeah. Now we go to initial conditions. Click this one, initialization settings. Okay, by default, we are directed to this one, block saturation at each grid block, same as saturation prevailing at the block center, water oil system, but for this case, for CO2 storage in saline aquifer, we change from this one to this one. Block saturation at each grid block average over the depth interval spent by the grid block. Okay. And from water oil gas system, we change it to water and gas system. Okay. And here, by default, we will select ignore all capillary pressure curves. All right, because we are focusing on the aquifer right now. Okay, it's 100% it's water. And for phase pressure correction, add phase pressure correction to ensure that the reservoir is initially in gravitational equilibrium. Okay, so for the calculation methods, we select block saturation at each grid block average over the depth interval spent by the grid block, water gas system, and we will ignore all capillary pressure curves. All right, and we can click apply. There will be message. Cannot save information in the current state. Please review the following messages. Region one, the reference depth value is missing for the listed region, okay. And then the reference pressure is missing, okay. And the water gas contact is missing. Okay, that's okay. Click okay. And then we go to the next section here. Initial, initial region parameters. All right. Initialization region. We are in region one. Initialization region parameters. Initialization region type one is not defined. Grid depth range is between 1,200 to 1,300 meters. Now, first we will set the reference pressure and depth. For the pressure, reference pressure, it is 11,800 kPa, okay? The unit will be automatically shown. And for the reference depth, it is at 1,200 meters. This is actually the, the top boundary, the top location of our 
the location of our reservoir top is at 1200. And now I will set water gas contact actually above our aquifer system. So the top of our aquifer is at 1200 and I want to make the water gas contact above that 1200. So let's say 1150. I say that now the water gas contact is above our focus. Okay, our top right now is 1200 and the water gas contact is outside of it. So in other words, we will discuss only the aquifer, the zone with 100% water saturation. Okay, but we need to still define this one, oil gas, oil zone and gas cap composition. Okay, so the gas cap, CO2, let's say 0 0.001 with methane, this one. So if you total, it will be one in fraction or 100%. All right, so we can click apply and you will see that this indicator, the red X will change to green, green felt. I don't know how to call this one, green tick. Apply, all right. So we have completed the initial condition section. And in the next video, we will continue our learning by discussing wells and recurrent. Okay, so that's all. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope the video is useful. Thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next CO2 simulation using CMG videos. Thank you.